Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and hope you are too. Got my little editor friend here gonna help me unbox this uh, new Twisby pen that I got in. Uh, it's the uh, Jade Color Echo or Eco, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, we're gonna unbox that, take a little look at it, see how the coloring is. It's a Jade Color. It looked pretty good in the uh, video of the, what they showed and the, the pictures on the web also. So we're just gonna see what it looks like and check it out. I'm not gonna do an ink up of it today, probably just a quick overview. Uh, and you've probably seen it too many times that uh, Twisby is a good quality fountain pen that I like to bring in. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. Safety first. Got it away from the dog or the editor. And let's see if we can get this guy open without too much of the nose getting in the way. So, what do you think? Anything you good in there? Nothing for you? I would say anything. You can't have the sucker. See, there's a sucker. You can't have that. So we're going to throw that over there. Got a few stickers. Got my bill here. You're just going to take up the whole screen because I can't see. We got our packed with slightly ridiculous amount of care. Always good from the Goulet guys. Got us a new sticker. It looks like a little uh, Goulet pen. He's holding a fountain pen. He's got the little thing going on there. Thank you. And of course our packing stuff. But let's get into the good stuff of what we got here. My editor is quite nosy at the same time. So there it is, the regular cardboard sleeve for the Eco versions. And it's got the plastic case that helps protect it. Can you sit? Sit down, Bo. Hey. Uh, snap the one end here. Try to unsnap the one end without breaking the nail. Wow. Let me see. Take off the sticker, too. See if that will help a little bit in our endeavor to unbox this puppy. No pun intended. Got nothing on that side. There we go. Did have quite a good catch on it that time. So let's go ahead, open it up. Still nothing for you, babe. You can have those, you want those? So there we have the Twisby fountain pen. It's an Eco Drive or Echo, not Drive. It's the Eco version in the jade color. Go ahead and pop that out. And of course you get your tools for maintenance on it. You got your a little oil to help keep the pistons running smooth and everything. You got the little red wrench at the other end there to help you open it and adjust it. And uh, I'm gonna follow up with one of those videos one of these days so we can exactly see how those tools are used and what their real good purpose is and if it's really essential to keep doing that. And it is to keep your pen in tip top shape. So, so there it is, it's the Eco. Just came out about a month ago maybe, maybe a little longer. Uh, I wasn't able to get it at the time, so it's got their well-known piston. You can even see the air. Let's take it off the other end and see if... Yeah, it had a good air seal on it. Oops. You could see it had a good air seal on it because before when the cap was on, it wouldn't even let me and screw it down, keeps pulling it back the other way. That's how tight the cap sits on it. The coloring, I like it. It's a good jade. It's kind of translucent. It's got the little uh, red logo of Twisby on the other end. They're nice stainless steel or aluminum clip. I believe it's aluminum more than stainless steel, but it's very good sturdy clip. It's both polished that and the little ring that goes around the end of, end of the uh, cap there. So it's well done. A little translucent. I don't know if you can tell from there, but it does have a nice translucence to it. They also have it at the other end where you adjust the uh, piston and move the piston. It's got the uh, jade coloring on there. It doesn't look plasticky. It looks pretty genuine as far as a jade. If it had a lot of a lot more weight to it. I would probably think it would be genuine weight uh, jade, but uh, it's got a nice color to it, nice translucence. Then again, you got their famous nib. It's the 
This one I got in the medium, I believe, so it keeps it from uh, getting too fine on my pen and scratching up the paper or making a scratchy noise. I like to keep it uh, fine or medium. This one I did get it in a medium. It's got the see-through ink reserve so you can see exactly how much you have ink left and how you're doing. You can also see what color's going on in there. Some of the other Twisbees that I have, it's a solid one with just a little glimpse of what the, your ink color is in there and how much ink you may have left. But the Eco ones, they do a good job as far as that. And uh, it's very well made, like I said, it's got the gaskets here to keep it sealed when the cap is on. And you saw that as I tried to uh, screw the piston up and down, it, the air pressure was keeping it from moving where it should have gone. And it's very well done, guys. It's got the, uh, like a hexagon at the bottom there. The shape of the cap is hexagon. So that will keep it from moving around on the table. Eh, not too much. It's a little, sits a little too snug to keep it from rolling in there. So if you don't have the cap on, and you should be able to post the cap at the end, other end without too much trouble. It's got the nice gasket there at the other end too to help keep the uh, cap securely posted. Doesn't move around too much. Like I said, I'm not gonna ink this puppy up today. I've been doing that on most of my unboxings and reveals of the new pens. But I'm gonna try to bring you a video showing the, the use of the tools here, the wrench and the uh, grease that they give you. I'm gonna do some refillings and uh, just cleaning out the pen if you wanna switch out to a different uh, color ink. I try not to put too much ink overall unless it's a pen that I'm gonna be using pretty consistently for like my journal, I'll fill that all the way. But if it's just the ink I wanna use uh, temporarily because of its color, I'll probably just do a little bit of ink into the reserve there. And then that makes it much easier and quicker to clean it out when I do wanna to switch to another color. So that is my quick unboxing and review of the guys. It is pretty quick, I know that. Let me know what you think of the color. If you picked it up too, let me know that. And uh, Twisby, I've been doing a lot of Twisby fountain pens because it is one of my favorite ones. Uh, and Lamy also, I thought I had a Lamy in mind to get, I'll have to go out and check out uh, Goulet Pen and see what colors they do have to add to my collections. And uh, we'll do a, a Lamy one coming up too. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the like button down there, guys, like it's the best pen you've ever seen. And uh, it's a pretty good pen. I like it. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Have a good one.